Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been MIA for like a month or two. I know I'm so sorry. We are actually in the process of buying a new house and selling our house. So I just have not had any time to record, but I am back and hoping to uh, continue doing weekly videos. So today I'm going to start with a, uh, I guess we're gonna do a fill on a hard gel. And we're just gonna start off by using this medium grit um, safety bit. And we're just gonna remove the previous color and a little bit of the bulk of the nail. I like to use the medium grit when doing this and not a coarse grit because I don't want to cause any indents in the nail. I don't wanna take off too much product. So I'm just gonna use the medium grit and take off all that polish, thin them out just slightly, and remove any excess product that I don't need. And for this particular client, she actually let me know right before we started that she wanted to change up the shape. Uh, and we were debating between like a short coffin or Kind of an almond shape so i'm not taking off any of the length which normally i would do if i was going to be shortening these um as soon as i take off the polish i would go into shortening them a little bit however because we're changing out the shape i did want to leave as much length as possible until we knew for sure what shape we were going to do Also, this client waits three weeks in between her fills, so that is three weeks worth of regrowth. And if you take a close look, there is no lifting, no chipping of the polish or of the hard gel. These just hold up really, really well for her, and she absolutely loves them. I love every time she comes in. She always lets me do something fun. So these were her uh, Thanksgiving design slash fall nails. Um, and we are going to be moving into some Christmas designs. So wait until the end. I absolutely love how these turned out. It's probably one of my favorite uh, Christmas designs I've done so far this year. I know that this is a kind of watch me work video. Um, however, I do speed it up uh, just because if I didn't, it would probably be an hour long video. Uh, and I don't know if that would be too time consuming for you guys to watch. If you do want to see a watch me work in real time, let me know in the comments down below. It's absolutely something that I can do for you. I just don't want to put out an hour long video and have everybody be like, I'm not spending an hour watching her do nails <laughs> so just let me know down below if that is something that you want to see and I can definitely make it happen for you Once I'm done taking off the uh, previous design, I just go in lightly with a metal cuticle pusher and lightly push back the cuticles. I don't do this very aggressively. I don't want to hurt the client and I don't want to dig into the nail bed at all or her skin.
And from there, I go right into cleaning the cuticle area with this small cuticle bit. I do have to be careful with this one because it does have a pointier end. So you can actually um, accidentally kind of dig into their skin a little bit if you're not careful. So you always just want to make sure you have a really good grip on their finger and on your electric file. Once I'm done doing that, I do go in with a sanding band and remove any shine and whatever cuticle is left. This little bit just helps me to uh, soften up and loosen up the cuticle skin that is stuck on the nail bed. And I do use a brand new sanding band for every client. So before I do use it, uh, you see me run it over the nail file a little bit. Um, and that is just going to remove any sharp edges from the sanding band so that I don't cut the client. It's the same way like you season your file so that the edges aren't sharp and you don't cut them. It's the same thing I do it with the sanding band lightly. Once that is done, we're gonna go into shaping the free edge of the nails. And we did decide on more of an, like a rounded almond shape. Uh, we just thought that that would be a really pretty look for the holidays. And I do speed this up again. Uh, you know, it would probably be eight minutes of me filing if it was in real time. So I speed it up and I do get out of frame a little bit. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, when I was editing, I hit some sort of button and kind of shortened the, the picture and I don't know what I did so I couldn't get it back. So when I was recording, I was in frame, but then when I was editing, I did something <laughs> that I didn't mean to do. So I'm sorry for the few spots that I do get out of frame here, but it's just me filing them into shape.
before applying any product, I do always take the Young Nails swipe and a clean manicure brush and just uh, kind of lightly brush off any of that excess um, filings and dirt and debris that might be on there. It also helps to dehydrate the nails. And then I go immediately into two coats of the Young Nails Protein Bond. And then after that, we get into the, um, I'm, I can't talk today. <laughs> um, I go right into the product application, which is going to be the Wildflowers um, build. So I go with a thin layer of the foundation, cure that in the light, and then we go into actually building out the nail. Okay, so here is me applying the build, um, and this is the gel in a bottle, which I absolutely love. I think it makes the application process so easy. So I just drop a bead um, towards the back of the nail and then kind of pillow it and push it up towards the uh, cuticle area. I don't want to put it directly on the cuticle right away just because I don't want it to flood the cuticles. It you know, doesn't set until you cure it so I don't want it to move too much. Um, and then I do take a small little brush and just brush along the sides and this helps to make sure that anything that runs is going to run exactly where I want it to be. And I do each finger individually. So I start with one pinky, put that in the light, then I go to the other pinky, put that in the light, and then I go back to the first hand and vice versa and I just kind of rotate.
You will notice also that every time I'm doing this, I wipe off the cuticle area just so that I know that I didn't get anything on the skin. Even if I don't think I got anything on there, I just wipe it just to be safe. Um, you know, you don't want to have anything left on the skin that dries there because that can potentially cause lifting issues. Now that I am finishing up with that, I'm going to do a final cure and I do put them back in for another 30 seconds once I'm done with everything just to be sure that they are fully cured. And then I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol on a wipe and just take off that tacky layer before I go in with a, another safety bit. And this one is an extra fine safety bit. And I use this for the gel because it is a softer product so I don't need anything that is super aggressive or abrasive. I don't want to remove too much of the product and then have to go back in and fix it. Once that is done I will take a regular hand file and just kind of smooth out all of the um, top surface make sure that there are no indents or lines caused from using the electric file.
we did do a matte top coat on the green color, uh, which was the heart attack, and then a regular shiny top coat on the accent fingers. And can we just talk about how freaking cute these little reindeer are? I'm obsessed with these. They're so cute. Uh, and then this is just me also taking a little bit of alcohol and wiping off the surface of the nails just so that when I take the pictures, um, the you can see that they're matte on some of them. And I do try to make sure that I don't rub this all over the actual fingernails. I just try to get the uh, nail bed. I don't want to take off that lotion and that cuticle oil that we just put on. And there you have it, guys. That is the end result. I think these turned out so freaking cute. I love the little reindeer. I think that I need to put a reindeer on my nails now. Um, let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.